In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Aracana chicken, some of its background, and later I'll be telling you about their egg laying, what color eggs they lay, and the hardiness. Hi, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to the website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe, using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. The Aracana chickens are the breed responsible for the blue egg craze and unfortunately many chicken enthusiasts confuses quirky chicken with the americana and the easter egg it's understandable but since these three types of chickens all lay colorful eggs mainly blue because of the rarity of this breed the Aracana is hard to come by in the u.s many hatcheries have chosen not to breed them due to the hatch rate issues so if you are looking to add the Aracana breed to your flock you most likely need to consult with a breeder who is working on developing the breed now let's talk about a little bit of the history while the easter Egger and the Americana both lay lovely colorful eggs. They are actually just hybrids of the Aracana. In the 1930s, the Aracana found its way from Chile to the U.S. and into the hearts of chicken lovers. It wasn't until the 70s they were recognized by the APA and became popular amongst the backyard chicken owners within the past five to ten years. Those who love a rainbow colored assortment of eggs undoubtedly have added the Aracana to their flock. Now let's get into the appearance of the Aracana. The Aracana is not unique just because of her egg color she's also unique physical characteristics that many popular breeds lack. For one, she has an upright stance and resembles some species of wild game birds. Her back slopes toward her bottom half, giving her the posture she is well known for. If you aren't sure, if you're looking at an Aracana or an Easter Egger, look for two telltale characteristics or lack thereof that will most likely indicate you are in the presence of a South American chicken treasure. Let's talk about the tufts. The tufts are the comical feathers that protrude from the Aracana cheeks. They grow under a fold of skin under the ears and might stick out like a gentleman's handlebar mustache. These tufts actually come in two, but not always. They may also take on personalities of their own by growing every which way possible. One thing is for sure though, they add a ton of character to your Aracana's appearance. Now let's talk about their backside. These chickens are actually rumpless. They have no tail. Rumpless basically just means what you think it means. They have no rumps, or in other words, they lack the long tail feathers that other breeds of chickens have. The characteristic also contributes to the appearance of the Aracana's upright posture, a very telling trait. These two characteristics give this chicken a unique and highly sought after appearance. That and of course their lovely eggs. Fortunately, the very gene that causes the tufts actually cause many chicks to die during incubation. This is why so many hatcheries do not carry the Aracana chicken. So if you are looking for your own frizzy looking rumpless chicken, this is why you may have to seek out a dedicated breeder. As far as typical chickens characteristics go, Aracanas have pea combs, which lay closer to the chicken's head, unlike large floppy combs. Upon close inspection, little pea-like protrusions are present on the Aracana's comb. The Aracana is a clean-legged chicken, unlike the Brahma chicken, and the color of their legs may vary depending on the color of the chicken. The Aracana comes in black, red, silver duck wing, white, and golden duck wing. The darker colored varieties of this chicken may have black or blue legs. So now we're gonna talk about the chicken size and then stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about the egg laying and then the hardiness of the breed. Aracanas are considered smaller size standard chickens, meaning they are bigger than bantams, but smaller than Brahmas, the king of chickens. An Aracana will typically weigh in around five pounds. However, they can be found in a bantam variety, but only if you look hard for them because standard and bantam size are both considered rare finds. While the Aracana is considered on the small end of the spectrum, interestingly, they grow fairly fast. If you raise more than one breed of chicken, you'll notice that your Aracanas tend to grow out of their awkward teenage years sooner than their counterparts. Da -da -da -da. Now let's get into the egg laying. Since Aracanas are on the smaller side, they are not ideal as meat birds, but what they lack in meat makes up for beautiful blue eggs. Even though the hens are smaller, their eggs are medium size and perfect for your Easter basket. And hey, you don't even have to color them. At a rate of approximately three eggs per week, the Aracana is not necessarily meant for production, but she can certainly earn her keep. However, this plucky hen originated from the warmer climates of South America, so she does tend to take the winters off from laying. No matter, she will be back at it once the weather warms up and just in time for spring egg hunts with the kids. Now let's talk about the temperament. The jury's out on the temperament. Some enthusiasts say they are the friendliest chickens they've ever owned, while others swear that they are flighty and nervous. High energy may not always equate to 
unfriendly chickens. So it might just be depending on who you talk to and how they choose to interact with their Araucanas. A quick Google search will reveal that those dedicated to developing this breed have only loving interactions with their Araucanas. All right, let's talk about the broodiness. Araucanas tend to grow broody frequently and easily. This means they happen to enjoy raising their own little clutch of chicks. And if you plan to breed these birds, leaving the mother hen to do her job will make the process easier for you. Just remember that the hatch rate is pretty low for the Araucana, so don't be discouraged if only a few babies hatch. And on that note, if mama hen has been broody for a long time, is losing weight and looking a little rough, it may be time to help her move on from any eggs that have not hatched. And lastly, we're talking about the hardiness. The Araucana is surprisingly hardy during the winter, even though these chickens originated in warmer clients that do particularly well in the cold. In the same line, Araucanas can handle the hot weather just as easily. They're adapted chickens that really seem to go with the flow no matter where they live. And Araucanas are particularly curious and active chickens. They love to spend their day scratching about for tasty treats. They are savvy chickens who keep their eyes peeled for predators and do their best to stay out of harm's way. It's actually been noted that Araucanas tend to travel a bit more than a typical chicken and they enjoy taking the same route daily. So if your neighbors aren't in love with chickens, make sure you keep your chickens in a fence yard because once they figure out where the good stuff is, they will keep going back for more. Araucanas are a special breed that is highly sought after due to their bright blue eggs and fun characteristics. That's gonna do it for us here. So I will see you in the next video where I actually talk about the Easter Egger chicken, a hybrid breed of the Araucana. You'll learn a lot about that breed as well as they also are a blue egg layer. And thanks for listening. If you like our content, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.